Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Kenny! What the fuck? Sounds like a car. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon. I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. Maybe we split up then. So you stay with Lily then? And Carly will stick with your ass because you saved her that one time. And I get who? Ben? That gangly shit for brains? Split up. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. Better get a move on. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Huh. Fallen concrete. There's no safe way through that mess.
Kenny, come on. Ah, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. <sighs> Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. There's no safe way through that mess. There's no safe way through that mess. Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. completely flat it's completely flat your girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week I haven't asked you even talk to that girl anymore Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Oh, shit! <sighs> oh, nice one. Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out. <laughs> Don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. No way. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Ah! Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive. She draws them all to her. Buying us time. Can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Dirty as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear it out here and then we gotta go.
coming. Come on, Lee. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Jimmy, help! some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. What did you get? A lot of stuff. Well, not quite. We got some stuff, not a ton. Half of it's probably expired. There just wasn't a lot left. This it? Yeah, well, we've been picking Macon clean for weeks. <sighs> Fuck. Which is why I've been saying, and I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but we gotta hit the road. Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walk. We have to go eventually, Lily. So you changed your mind. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly? Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable in We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No. Because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. 
We all appreciate it, Ken. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Happy, Kenny? My family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. It's Lily's room. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing. And I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? 
No, did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah. She thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I think about you, too. Our group is small. You're small. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone. But think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. It was a lifetime ago. Which is only going to make the feeling that you hid it and that there was even more to hide that much worse. People might be pissed and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what will happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Don't call me small. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. Before I met you and before the plague, I killed somebody. Oh, so that's what... Yeah, that's it. It was a bad thing and there's no explaining it. Why are you telling me? Because I didn't want to keep it to myself anymore. Do you have any questions? 
You can go on back to your things. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I was given Larry CPR with Lily. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> gotcha. Everything keeps changing. Hi, guys. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. I killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's. Different from everything. This was before the Walkers. A citizen? Yes. I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and... You know, I, I was worried. Look, we've all done gnarly shit now. But what? You were some kind of killer? It's not like that. Is Duck safe around you? Of course. Good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. <sighs> hmm. I appreciate it, though. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then.
Zack. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. Cool. Mm. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Bandits gave us hell. They've been quiet for days now. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, man, it's got our people out there. We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. You people think this is a fucking joke? Out there. Out here. We ain't fucking around. What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit. They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you? Stall them. What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life. <sighs> shit. Enough of this bullshit. Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors. 
Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. We have more supplies. We can keep the deal going. Too late, shithead! We ain't given second chances. It, it was a mix-up. We'll make it worth your while. I'm listening. We'll leave you everything. Just let us walk out of here. So you can try to pay us a little visit, leader? Fuck that! All right. I've had enough of this shit. Drew, take these motherfuckers! Christ! Oh, shit! Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that van. Get your asses around behind. Gotcha. Hurry! Come on! Get inside the RV! It's gonna be okay! Go! Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine. Everything's then. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please. We have to get it out of you then. Back off. You're in no position to make demands. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're just pointing fingers. Holly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Don't be ridiculous. Like, look, maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay? Guys, we have to act now. I know it sounds nuts, but we have a traitor here. Do you guys get that? Someone who puts their insidious shit above everyone else. Thank you, Lee. Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... <laughs> Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now, then. Kitty. Is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. No! Ah, this dumb fuck walker. You okay over there? Yeah, yeah. Son of a ben, bitch. Ben, you have no other options. Leave him alone. You can tell me it was Carly, and then everything will be right as rain. There's no way it was Carly. It was somebody else. It could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll I'll do watches for months. Huh, the hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. You just... think any of that is good now? Just let me stay, please. God, please. You're pathetic. Look at you. You're making it worse on yourself. I just don't want to be on my own. You should have thought of that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Then you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. This is about trust, and I've never trusted you. Lily, lay off. I can't leave. You know I can't. Thank you, Lee. Please, listen to him. Please don't kick me out of the group. We won't. Tell me. Now. There. I got him. Please, let's just get back That's in the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now. What the fuck's the problem? Drop it. Holy fuck. Kenny, what's happening? Keep duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. You know? 
Yeah, he told me. I don't give a shit. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. Lee, a word, please? You okay? Katya needs you for something. What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Carly? Gone, but won't come back. Because she was shot in the head. That's right. It's horrible. Yeah, it is. my treehouse that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. Uh, that's nice. I didn't, though. Thanks. something up ahead. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. Well, this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us.
Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clem, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, huh? Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? I didn't cross my mind. Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit. Think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. Take this to Kendra for Doc. There's got to be a better way to do this. Shit, broken. Derailed. one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. <laughs> Whew, 
Suppose we gotta look him over. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This hoss will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. What about Doc? What about him? We can't act like nothing happened to him. We can't act like he's dead, either. Okay. Fair enough. Try to get this thing started. There's got to be some sort of manual or something. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's the spirit. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm going to make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. Door's gonna hurt. I can't get at him in there. Okay, you aren't gonna like this. Good shape for a wreck. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. Hey, Sweet Pea. You okay out here? I don't think Doc feels good. Uh, me neither. We 
We found a notebook that we think might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. Well, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't, but you're probably right. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? I don't think Duck feels good. Uh, me neither. Here, I found these. If Duck's up for it. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. That's one hell of a mess. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking.
shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. Years. That's the throttle. Damn it! Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. You touch any of my stuff? Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for sure. Sorry, your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. It's scary, kind of. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm, 
You still got a couple of kids, and this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. How's that? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I was. This isn't any time for, you know, romance, but yeah. I was, uh, fond of her, yeah. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. How you doing, Bill? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Want a ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Doug's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. Is the train really a good idea with Duck like that? Maybe we should focus on one thing at a time. Yes. What can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. We'll be fine. We've gone through just as much as anybody else. This one's gonna grow up quick. I already am. I don't doubt it, son. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. 
Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. Stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. He won't be. He's going, Kenny. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend! I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. How many sons are you gonna let die? Shut your mouth! I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this, and you bet your ass I'm gonna. Don't give a fuck that we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck. You want to hurt people because you're afraid. Losing Duck ain't enough for you. Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this. I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen. It's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. It's time to... Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. 
Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. He can just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God just should do it, can't she? could handle it. Shut up, Lee. He's right. No, hon, stay with Lee. Your son loves you, and you should remember him as the silly boy we used to have. Not this. What's happening? Making sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. She's making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Look, Clem. Things are... No. God! This will never happen to you. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I'm gonna go get her. She's probably a mess. Ben, get Clementine on the train, all right? And keep your eyes open.
understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What do you think it'll happen? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I would have took some sense into it. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? I figure it out. Well, get to figuring, because it'll be on top of us before you know it. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. I'm not a barber. It ain't gotta be styled. Jesus. You gotta run around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack, and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work, and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plant, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. You're homeless then. Eh, I suppose. I've had homes here and there, and well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. I shot the kid, you know? I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Be safe up here. You betcha. lucky enough to get it working once. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Would have killed me instead. 
Yeah, maybe. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. Are you gonna be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Good. I hope that's true. See you. Yeah. explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little, so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. Protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. First shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <coughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. A bit to the right. Okay, a little higher. A little bit more to the left. Steady now. Almost got it. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. You did. Good job. 
I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Yeah, of course. I don't believe you. Well, good. Good? Means you know when someone's lying to you, which is another valuable survival skill. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Before all of this, I was sent to jail, you know? Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. No, you look cute, and a lot harder to grab. I'm sorry about your hair. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. God, me too. up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. A 
have found this if you wanted. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? No, I'm fine. Suit yourself. Anybody in there want to share a drink, you let them know. Will do. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. I could kill you. I... I... Nobody can see us. I could toss you over right now and be done with it. No! I... Lee, please! Why shouldn't I? They said they had my friend! I didn't know what to do! Lee, please! I had to tell someone. I bet you did. gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. Need to know if they're okay, and well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far... Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! <laughs>
Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. A thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Define trouble. Anything that gets you killed, or worse. And it tends to come hand in hand with groups of guys in distress. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man. How long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. The train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road, alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Empty. That's what I figured. That's about the only useful thing in here. It's empty. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan, or what? Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? Y'all want some candy? 
The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Teaching them anything? Trying to. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups. And I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds. Tens. Sometimes. Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me. Maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while and then, you know. That's rough. Her cat is gonna be pissed. Talk to you later. fireball if we tried to blast through. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something. Interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Hi, girls. Hey. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? <laughs> Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. Careful. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. Like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything.
was doing some painting. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. <clears throat> mm, won't budge. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. It's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. There's gotta be something useful in here. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. We're locked up good. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Jeez, now! So good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight year old versus three of them, huh? Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? 
I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. They didn't have much business back then. We got it. Let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. No. You just have to learn to pull the trigger. It's so hard. Don't think. Just do it. Live with what happens. I'll try. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Holes as a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Hope there's holes. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. We can't reach it now. Damn it, it was just about done, too. Crap. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are? You're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Stay here and we'll go with your lady. The hell you will. Shut 
of a bitch save him! Omid! is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Next stop, the Atlantic. We're finding Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them there. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. <laughs> what the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether the league wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents... Y'all might want to rethink your plan. at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? I know I promised that we'd find your parents, but Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you going to tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you! <laughs> <laughs> 